Alright guys, we are back. What's going on? We're doing another uh, path guide. This time we're doing the opposite for Torch, in my opinion, her most overpowered one. So here we go. I spoiled it already, but Torch. Fire it up! There we go. So, uh... My apologies, I usually have them near the arena. I just realized that. I'm super sorry, okay? Jeez, it's only gonna take 30 seconds. Alright, so, right here. So, let's go to stats. So, we've got armor, atrociously low, critical hits, a close step ahead of that. And, um, level 7, she has the eggshell hat, which you get from the Phoenix Nest uh, Battle Arena. Defeat it, you get that eggshell hat, amazing hat. Um, yeah. So that's really good. Armor's awful though, but she can really pack a punch. So we got powers. Blazing bellows. Press and hold Y to roast enemies with a flamethrower attack. Flaming horseshoes. Press A to pinch or I'm sorry, pitch flaming horseshoes that stick to enemies. Heating up. Blazing bellows attack shoots farther and does extra damage. Flaming hair whip. Press X to whip flaming hair around and knock back nearby enemies. Pyro Pendant. Enemies with flaming horseshoes stuck to them take extra damage from fire. Blue Flame. Hold Y for a little longer and flames turn blue, doing extra damage and going through enemies. And now we've got her, uh, what is it? Forged in Flames Path, which is the top one. We've got Scorched Earth Policy. Blazing Bellows attack now sets the ground on fire, damaging anyone who touches it. Hairs getting long. Flaming Hair Whip has increased range and does extra damage. Double Barrel Bellows. This is insane. Bigger Blazing Bellows flames. And she gets two, if you didn't see that. The Incinerator Soul Jam. Press Y rapidly to create the ultimate flamethrower. So without further ado, I bring to you Torch. She is so good on this. I honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, I think both paths are amazing. This one is just the more amazing one. They're both phenomenal. She really is a can't-go-wrong character. They did a great job with her creation, uh, her design, her attacks. Very fun to play as. She's amazing to E3, man. It's no joke. Fire it up. Look how cute she is with her little pistol. Wolfgang. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. Pirate artillery. Blah blah blah. All right. So here we go. There's the horseshoe. It's a uh, big. It's a big one. Super duper big one. So watch my horseshoe of death. Boom. It gets attached on them. You see that? Doesn't matter how small, there's horseshoes for everyone. Look at that. We can have it up to three enemies. Let's see if we can go four. Can we get four? Three, I think, is the max. Look at that. I love that. So now we got the fire. And because we're on the flame path, she gets two trails of flame now, folks. It's nasty. See that? Fire now kind of goes in front of you. It's not as impressive as they made it sound, but I'm not complaining. She's insanely powerful. This is just her basic flame, folks, right here. Remember how I said she has zero armor? That's because she can't take a hit. Here's my uh, flame whip attack. Good knockback. The two can play that game, buddy. I got a gun, too, of the opposite element. Oh, boy, that's going to hurt. Now, watch this. This is the soul gem. So we go click, click, click. Oh, I didn't get to show that off well enough. I'll show you again. Get the pretzel. I missed the announcer going, pretzel. They just don't do it anymore. I don't get why. So here we go. You press it, you press it, you press it, and then we go to a certain mode where it's so powerful, it just does disgusting damage. Like, and you can't be hurt 
I mean, you can be hurt, but, like, you can't lose the flame. Like, I can get hit and still keep going. It's nasty, man. It's brutal. Take that, you stupid ship. Ugh. Some good knockback if you ever get in, in trouble with enemies, which is pretty neat. Yeah, we can't have her die. I apologize. I told you she has weak armor, man. She's gonna get killed a lot easier. Alright. <laughs> Broccoli guy. Wrong wrong place at the wrong time, my friends. Turn to burn. Look at that range, man. Not only does her soul gem give her some insane amount of damage for the heat, but the range is disgusting. The only downfall, she has really weak armor, just like Chopper. Uh, Chopper. Same kind of concept. But I'd say overall, though, a really, really terrific character, man. I'd say a must-buy. That's not a lie. That, that's the truth. That knockback is amazing, though, man. For story mode, that's going to be ideal. And this path increases that knockback. To where it's, like, doing insane numbers now. Like, she's only on blue flame right now, and she's just destroying it, man. I wonder if you can knock back a bruiser cruiser. Nah. Get the shot. No, you're good. Yeah, I don't see any hun anything, honey. Just took out a shred knot like it was nothing. That guy didn't even stand a chance. He's like, oh, I can't even bother, man. She just, she just burned me alive. I couldn't even finish by growling sound. That's how good she is. And because she has such insane distance with the flame, man, it's like you don't even need that good of armor anyway, because you're not going to be... I mean, yeah, you're gonna. You, it would help to have it, but I mean, you're not going to really need it, because she's got such insane uh, reach. So that was Torch on her, her uh, Forge and Flames path. Easily the best one if you're looking for damage and superiority in that aspect, but both are incredibly fun. Do not let this mislead you. But so, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a good one, and God bless. Peace!